Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is February 15, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Spree News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. Number one, residents near toxic sleeping giant trail derailment urge not to drink water. Number two, we got some more updates. Thousands of animals taken out. All right, so we're going to see what's going on in these two here, guys. Uh, once again, please continue praying for the people out there in the state of Ohio. Uh, once again, resident near this area, urge not to drink water. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in this plat, you know, what form. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, let's see. Let's go with this one right here. Let's go with this one. So the water has become wormwood, bitter poison. All right, so the sign appeared when animals started dropping D-E-A-D. -E There's been a lot of videos circling on social media, uh, floating fishes. I mean, it just, excuse me, floating fish going on. Um, chickens and water being impacted. Now they're telling many, don't drink it. Don't drink it. Hmm. All right. Wow, these words are really small. Okay, so you have the governor of this state warned residents living near the site of the events that took place uh, to drink bottled water Wednesday today. As authorities investigate uh, potential environmental fallout. Ooh. Um, the accident earlier this month. Okay, so you're telling many to drink water today, but how many... How many resident has used tap water, showers, or whatever, making tea or coffee? I mean, oh, I got to show you something really quick. Check this one out. Check this one out. This is very important, guys. Uh, the sky is completely dark. If I could find it, if not, then that's uh, that's going to have to be my next video, guys, to be honest. Uh, hold on. I think it's right here. If not, like I said, it's going to be my next video. Yeah, I think it's going to be my my next video. All right. So I can't find it, but uh, let's continue with this one. So um, again, guys, they're telling many to drink bottles of water today. Wednesday. Mm. So the gov, oh, okay, I read that part. So the cargo train derailment in the Midwestern Sleeping Giants sparked a massive fire, uh, triggered the release of very powerful stuff, including, let me just highlight it. A colorless gas deem uh skip that name by the u.s national sea institute now you have the ohio governor mr mike told the three letters that while air quality in the town of east palestine where the wreck occurred was safe residents should not yet drink the water out of a abundance of caution all right uh Guys, I post a video that even the cl I mean, the sky is just. My next video, I will talk about it and I will show you the video. I mean, it just it looks like it looks like there was an NUKE that was dropped there and now the sun is blocked. I mean, they say the air quality is good, but when I look at that video, I'm like, oh, man, I don't want to be in that spot. 
So, um, so we get it. Uh, excuse me. So we did get a tech. Give me a second here, guys. These words are really small. All right. So we did get a test back late yesterday of the water in the village and the first uh, well that we tested, the water was fine. He told the uh, broadcaster, urging many to nonetheless use bottled water. Don't take a chance. All right, so I guess the first test is good. The water is good. But then you have to ask yourself this question. What happened to the fish? All right, so it says here more more well result were expected later Wednesday, he said. But Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Mr. Michael told the NEWS that testing results from rivers and streams were still being collected and analyzed. So they're still doing their tests on this, guys, regardless what you know, you know what other says. Uh, but again, they're still doing their tests on the water and the air. So the agency will be able to give the public more information as the conditions on the ground become safe. All right, this coming out from Reagan said, adding that uh, that scientists and engineers will not be put in harm's way. Now, this area sudden train with 150 cars uh, was shipping cargo from Madison, Illinois to Conway, Pennsylvania, when it derailed on February the 3rd. Of the derailed cars, 11 were carrying some very powerful stuff, including other things and other chemicals, the NTSB said. Now, several thousand residents were evacuated as authority assessed the danger. Now, to avert explosion, the railroad uh, conducted a controlled release of the chemical, which uh, discharged toxic and potentially deadly fumes into the air, this person office said. All right, so very important stuff, guys. A lot of updates. It's very important to share this to uh, many of you. So five days after the derailment, evacuated residents were allowed to safely return home, the governor's office said, adding that there will be ongoing air monitoring in the area. Wow. But one week after the accident, the EPA uh, reported that uh, this thing evolved in the wreck were, not, uh, were known to have been. It continued to be released to the air, surface, soils, and surface waters. Some 3,500 fish out, seven and a half miles, that's 12 kilometers of nearby streams, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources reported. And uh, you have DeWine and Norfolk uh, Southern will be held accountable and should pay for everything. Adding that uh, some people in the East Palestine were concerned the company would leave uh, before the cleanup is finished. Now they are responsible for a very serious train wreck that occurred with uh, some very powerful material. He told the three letters. So we're going to hold their feet to the fire. Uh, Norfolk Southern said in a statement Wednesday, it had provided $1.5 million to families and businesses for costs related to evacuation. Look at that, guys. $1.5 million. The yellow and blue country gets $50 billion. We get pennies. All right. So $1.5 million. Uh, again, I... I just want the air to be good and the water to be good. All right, so this is where we at, guys. Governor's telling many to drink bottles of water. Don't use tap water or drink tap water. All right, so we're going to see what's going on in this one right here. And uh, like I said, my next video is going to be really, really powerful. I mean, I want to talk more about the uh, the black clouds. And man, it, it's just getting worse. Thousands of animals in this area, Ohio, in the aftermath of the train derailments that sent numerous into the surrounding area. We're talking about them thick clouds, black one that's impacted. Officials said on Tuesday 
that in the immediate uh, days following the February 3rd incident, there were 3,500 fish out as local uh, waterways, uh, including the Ohio River, became uh, contaminated. Guys, uh, I just I just read an article. There was a there was a, a tanker. I think it happened. What was it? Oklahoma. There was some kind of evacuation and shelter in place. And it was a it was a chemical tanker, but they got everything under control. They got it done in like five hours. Big shout out to the firefighters out there in Oklahoma. So uh, everything, you know, just everything worked fine. So they're saying that the reason for the fire is because of the welding work that was going on. And I guess, you know, that might have caused some kind of spark. But other than that, everything is good in Oklahoma. So again, uh, the news came out like around 12 p.m. And I think um, maybe earlier before that, like around 11 Eastern time or something like that. But yeah, uh, everything is good in Oklahoma. Um, all right. So during the incident, 38 train cars derailed, including we already know that skip, 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 skip. So all this could lead to some very serious stuff, especially. There we go. Three days later, on February the 6th, you have crews conducted a control release of this T-O-X-I-C from train cars that were in danger of exploding. It didn't take long for a massive dark plume to develop above the site. Kind of looked like an N-U-K-E. N-U-K-E is a lot powerful, guys. But, you know, again, I'm just, you know, radiation and stuff like that aftermath. All right, so above the site and for many near the area to see and smell the toll of the incident on their environment. I don't know who came out with that idea, but uh -uh. in a now viral TikTok, one person shows numerous DEAD fish within a eerily foggy creek that he says is two, uh, two miles from the train development. Mm. So Mary, the director of Ohio Department of Natural Resources, said on Tuesday that an estimated 3,500 DEAD fish have been found in local streams. Uh, all right, so we already know this part. So again, accounting for at least 12 different species. So the good news is that none of those species are threatened or endangered but that is still a lot, a loss of wildlife. She said, among the DEAD fish uh, species are creek chub. But here's the thing, that's fine, that's, that's good, you know, uh, everything's, everything's working out. But what about many out there? I mean, there were thousands out there, we talking about people. I mean, if it if it impact the animals and you can't drink the water, what about those that were in that zone? It's very important to uh, make an appointment and you know follow up with your D O C T O R, just in case. So the good news is that none of those species are threatened. Again, of of course, you have uh, billions of trillions of fish around the world. All right, so the department is also monitoring the development uh, impact on hellbender uh, salamanders, the state largest species of amphibian that is also endangered. According to the department, the animals are susceptible uh, to poor water quality and excessive situation of streams. The majority of the fish and uh, skip all this here, guys. Estimate seems to have DIED within the first couple of days. All right, so. All right, so uh, we already know all this. All right, so basically, guys, um, the water is impacted. The water is impacted. Thirty-five hundred fish. 
and governor is telling many to drink bottles of water do not drink the water all right guys thank you so much for watching again um this is this is huge again please continue to pray in a video i want to show you i can't find it but i will find it i will talk about it it's the clouds at nighttime it's like when the sun goes down you look up it's like it's so weird and uh, i don't know how long that's uh i don't know how long the uh sky in ohio is gonna is gonna last i don't know if that thing's gonna last for like maybe a week or so but mm -mm. it's a lot of people looking up and they're not pleased so again guys uh this is the updates once again continue praying for many out there please uh follow the governor uh orders a resident near this area uh, urge not to drink water all right guys thank you so much for watching once again for those of you that want to give a light to christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our lord and savior jesus christ for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me louis santiago or my wife jessica santiago p.o box number two excuse me uh 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 once again guys one dollar a month patreon we get you access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about in this plat you know what form also guys i posted videos today those links will be in the comments box anyway guys thank you so much for watching god bless you all give your light to jesus christ and get baptized we are living in tough time till next time later peace